Hi. Hi y'all, I'm back at it again. I'm doing my little um, evening walk before this storm um, come in. It's, it's a little cloudy out here and um, I know it's um, kind of raining in, in the surrounding areas, but it haven't hit here yet. I do hear some thunder boom boom or whatever, but um, I thank God that I was able to get my second walk in. It really relaxes me when I'm able to get that walk in, okay? Um, if y'all haven't today, y'all get out and um, move your bodies. Um, like I said, the only way that the heart can get any kind of exercise is that you move. Um, you have to move in order to get that blood flowing, okay? Um, I'm in the park. I'm out here. I'm not out here by myself. Or whatever. You got people coming and going. Um, but um, there's not many people out here though. But I, as you can see, I'm getting I'm getting a good workout. Um, hadn't been out here too long. I just wanted to get a little bit of time in. Um, I had a great dinner today. I don't know if you would like it, but this is what I had. It was very light. I had um, black beans and navy beans mixed. I also had um, brown rice. And I also had um, some broccoli. And along with some water. Okay, so that was my dinner. Okay, and for breakfast, I had um, two egg whites um, with Swiss cheese. Wow, that's a lovely combination. And I also had... Um, oatmeal and a half a banana okay and um of course i love oatmeal i eat that every day if i could and um i love the um egg whites with cheese that's really one of my favorites as well no meat no meat today every now and then challenge yourself and um delete meat from your menu from your diet okay give your body a break um, uh, takes a long time to break down that beef, okay? Um, takes a long time to break down meat, period, okay? Um, so just do your body a favor and um, every now and then leave the meat alone, okay? Um, one benefit um, that I do know um, with working out is that um, if any of y'all have problems with the bowel movements Wow When you're walking running exercising or what have you that helps move that bowel down the track Okay, so um, if you want to start having regular bowel movements um, exercise Drink plenty of water That would work eat plenty of fiber as well uh, if you think about what I had, um, navy beans and black beans um, together and the brown rice and broccoli, and protein. There's my protein right there and plenty of fiber. Okay, so um, I just wanted to throw that out to you, okay? Because um, uh, if you want to, um, you want your bowels and stuff to move down that intestinal tract, okay? You got to move. Okay, or do you gonna be constipated? You don't wanna be constipated. So get that fiber in and start moving that body, okay? And drink plenty of water, of course. Okay, well, I'm not gonna talk long. I believe um, I had a little bit more time out here. Um, as you can see, it is cloudy. The rain is just um, holding back. I just hope it does <laughs> stay, stay, Stay back until I um finish doing what I'm gonna do. You know we do need the, the rain, okay. But anyway, I just wanted to share um my thoughts with you today. And you know what? Sometimes um somebody might want to know why do you video and um, post it every day. Let me tell you why I video and post every day. I don't know who I'm inspiring, okay? Um, 
uh, somebody may get inspired by something that I may have said, okay? And um, that's why I video and I post every day to get somebody inspired, okay? And I just feel like if I can get up and move, you can get up and move too. I don't want to hear any excuses because um, we could come up with all the excuses. How about let me tell you this, I'm a heart patient, okay? I'm a heart patient. And um, that's one of the reasons that I do get up and move. But um, before I even known that I was a heart patient, I have been walking for years. Um, my oldest daughter, Sherry, is, um, she'll be 37 years old this year. So I've been walking for years. I've been exercising for years. So that is not something that I just began to do. And as far as like being a heart patient, my youngest daughter, um, she's 22, she'll be 23 years old this year. So I've been a heart patient for 23 years. I was 35 years old when I had her and um, I went into congestive heart failure. Okay, so um, <laughs> um, that's where that came into play. But um, I wouldn't trade it for the world because um, this thing keep me grounded. She kept me grounded. Okay, so I thank God for her. And um, anyway, I thank God for just um, um, showing me as far as like, you know, of course, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect, but I thank him for giving me the, um, the, the challenges in life. Okay. Um, you have people that's um, walking around that don't know that they're heart patients. Okay, you have people die young because they didn't know that there was a heart patient, you know, so I thank him for all of my challenges. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for that. Okay, um, therefore, I can educate myself. I can educate my family. Like I said, heart failure runs in my father on my father's side of the family. Okay, my father... Um, he was a, um, a heart patient almost all of my life. I, I, I just really don't um, know him, um, know of him um, being without um, the heart disease. Um, I was a young girl um, when my father was diagnosed, diagnosed uh, with heart failure. I think I could have been about, uh, I don't know, um, eight, nine, ten. I was a little girl, okay? But my father has been an, a heart patient all of my life that I know of, okay? And um, so um, I think that um, if he was able to or if he knew better as far as a lot of things during that time, he would have been walking, um, eating differently even though when um he was diagnosed um my mother um changed up um the way that she was cooking because you know they grew up in north carolina so that's the way that that's what they knew so she had to change up on his diet so um so over the years when i became a heart patient okay I learned a whole lot and shared it with my family, okay? So as we know better, we do better and we're, we're able to educate others. So I, I hope that um, by me posting uh, my videos that somebody takes something from it. It is important to walk. I know for a fact, um, uh, I was about 35 years old when I went in con to congestive heart failure for the first time. Okay, had I not been active, you know, I would have been dead and gone by now. Trust me. Because the way the heart operate is, um, the heart is a muscle. Okay, it's a tight muscle. If you tighten your fist, that's how tight your heart is. Okay, so when you go into congestive heart failure, 
your heart um, kind of loosens up. Um, the way that the doctors explain it to me, okay, when you hold your hands up like a fist, okay, your heart is tight like that. Okay, when your heart start relaxing, okay, being that the heart is a muscle, it will turn into fat, okay? So you can't tighten back, you can't tighten fat once it relaxes like that, okay? So um, that was the simplest way for me to understand how the heart muscle works. So I know, had I not exercised throughout all of my years of my trials and tribulations or what have you, <laughs> I wouldn't be here talking to you today. Um, so get up and move is very important to do that, okay? Um, not only for the heart, okay? Um, we have other problems as well, as far as like um, diabetes, okay? You have high blood pressure. Um, some people may want to lose weight. You know, I've, I, I've been losing weight, but I ain't trying to lose all my weight or whatever, you know, but um, that comes with the territory as well when you work out, okay? Um, I'm weighing anywhere between um, 148, 150. I ain't trying to disappear. I like my little bit of weight on me as I get older, okay? But um, you lose weight when you exercise, so that is great, okay? So um, I'm a living testimony that um, exercise is beneficial, okay? Um, so don't just sit and watch me work out. <laughs> you work out too. Um, I, I'm hoping that somebody get inspired and um, start moving around. You know, I'll be 58 years old this year. And I know I look damn good. <laughs> I take all of my compliments, okay? I'm patting my own self on the back. I don't need y'all to, to pat me on my back because I'm going to pat my own self on the back. I'm not conceited. But <laughs> on this side of 50, I take all of my compliments and I give myself compliments as well, okay? I keep myself encouraged, okay? So encourage yourself as well, okay? But anyway, let me stop running my mouth, okay? And um, of course, I always shout out to my girls. I love my babies, okay? Um, Sherry, um, be careful coming home tomorrow. Take your time. Um, be sure to let me know when you get in, okay? I love you. I love you, little Sherry. You did wonderful today. I really enjoyed that. Tiana, I love you as well, okay? And, um, Anyway, I'm about to sign off. If you can see the clouds in the background, okay? They're rolling in here. The wind is picking up, I like that. But um, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna get out of this weather because um, um, when you hear thunder and there's some lightning, the rain is on the way. Okay, good night, Facebook family and friends. Okay, I love you all, and um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.